Hello there. Welcome to primer lecture series. Today we will discuss about uh, fibrem and labeling. But before going to the topic, we'll see what is probe. Probe is nothing but a labeled nucleic acid. Probe is nothing but a labeled nucleic acid that will detect the target DNA target nucleic acid by hybridization by hybridization. So probes are used to detect the nucleic acids. Probes are used to locate the physical location of uh, genes or RNA genes or RNA molecules. Probes are used to measure the abundance of uh, RNA and DNA are also used to find out the interaction between the DNA or RNA with the protein molecules. So interaction studies, measuring the abundance of nucleic acids or detection of the nucleic acids or uh, to find out the exact location of RNA or DNA in a, in a given nucleus. So these are the uh, uses of uh, probes. Probes are uh, prepared in a two different ways. One is one is end labeling. The second one is uh, all along the molecule. All along the molecules. Means end labeling means the label label labels are added at the ends. What are the ends of the nucleic acids? That's a pi prime end and a three prime end. Pi prime end and three prime end. So labels are added at the pi prime end or three prime end that is called as end labeling. All, all along the molecules means the labels are incorporated into the DNA fragment that is called as all along the molecule. So today we will discuss about end labeling, especially pi prime end labeling. Pi prime end labeling means what? The, you all know that pi prime and pi prime uh, DNA molecule or RNA molecules are having the pi prime phosphates. Pi prime phosphates. So the existing phosphate molecules are replaced with the radioactive phosphate molecule. That is what is called as a pi prime labeling. You see, here. The phosphate is labeled. Phosphate is labeled. In the next slide, we'll see the uh, procedure of uh, uh, labeling. You see, pi prime phosphate and labeling. Pi prime. You see, pi prime phosphate groups of DNA fragments replaced with radioactive terminal gamma phosphate of ATP. So DNA fragments are having the pi prime phosphates. Those pi prime phosphates are replaced with the radioactive gamma phosphate is called as a pi prime phosphate labeling. So for this process, it, two enzymes are essential. One is alkaline phosphatase and second one is polynucleotide kinase, polynucleotide kinase, alkaline phosphatase and polynucleotide kinase. You see, alkaline phosphatase will remove the existing, existing phosphate groups from DNA fragments. Alkaline phosphatase can catalyze the removal of phosphate groups from pi prime end by breaking the phospho monoester bond, phospho monoester bond. Once the alkaline phosphatase removes the phosphate group, phosphate groups from the pi prime phosphate, then it forms the pi prime OH. The second enzyme that is a polynucleated kinase, that is T4 polynucleated kinase, can transfer the terminal gamma phosphate of ATP to the pi prime OH of DNA fragments. That's nothing but phosphorylation. That's nothing but phosphorylation. So this is what is the whole process of pi prime phosphate and labeling. In the next slide, we'll see the flow chart of pi prime phosphate 
एंड लेबलिंग Here you see, DNA fragments are treated with alkaline phosphatase. First step is the DNA fragments to be labeled are treated with the alkaline phosphatase. Why the phosphate groups to need to be removed? So alkaline phosphatase can remove the phosphate groups from the pipeline, and for that reason, DNA fragments are treated with the alkaline phosphatase to remove the by prime phosphate groups and forms by prime OH molecule once the phosphate groups are removed from the by prime phosphate that's a, nothing but a, a deoxy ribose or ribose then there is a by prime OH at the fifth carbon there will be OH then dephosphorylated DNA fragments with by prime OH are incubated with the PNK and radioactive. Where radioactive phosphate is there? The gamma phosphate is radioactive of ATP. Then this PNK catalyzes the forward reaction by where it involves the transfer of gamma phosphate of ATP to Pi prime OH of polynucleotide or DNA fragment. You see, PNK performs the forward reaction and phosphorylates the pi prime OH DNA terminide. So, polynucleotide kinase can transfer the terminal gamma phosphate of ATP to pi prime OH of DNA fragments. That's nothing but phosphorylation. So when a gamma phosphate of ATP is radio labeled, then that phosphate is now transferred to the pi prime OH of the DNA fragment by PNK. That is nothing but polynucleotide kinase. Now you see the probes are ready and these probes are very, very specific. Very, very specific because we did not include any nucleotides into the probe preparation. Only we changed the or replaced the normal phosphate with the radio labeled phosphate. So the, these probes can identify the its complementary DNA or RNA molecule in the given sample very, very specifically. Non-specific binding won't be seen with the pipeline and labeling of phosphates. So the probes prepared in that in this manner are very very specific the sensitivity will be less because only functional group is ready labeled in the next slide we'll see the same in the uh, in the uh, picture uh, format you all know that probes are single stranded nucleic acid molecules right you see this is a one dna fragment where it is having pi prime phosphates and the three prime OH. Now these fragments are treated with the alkaline phosphatase. Why we are treating with the alkaline phosphatase? To remove the phosphate, existing phosphate groups at the pi prime end. So these phosphates are removed by the alkaline phosphatase and resulted DNA fragments are having, having the pi prime OH in place of uh, pipeline uh, phosphates. So these DNA fragments are now incubated with the uh, radioactive or gamma labeled phosphate, radioactive gamma phosphate, ATP and T4 PNK. You see this is what is the ATP where it is having three phosphates, alpha phosphate, beta phosphate and gamma phosphate. This is a terminal phosphate. This is a terminal phosphate. Gamma phosphate is a terminal phosphate. So the, the PNK can transfer the gamma phosphate, that is a terminal phosphate of ATP to pi prime OH of polynucleotides. Then there is a, then that is a, nothing but phosphorylation. That's nothing but phosphorylation. This is how pi prime end labeling is done. So this is how you prepare the probes and I said they are very specific 
and sensitivity is less right thank you all for listening and i forgot to tell you one more point here uh, this t4 pnk preferentially labels the protruding ends whenever a dna is having a protruding ends that is that is uh, where the t4 pnk prefers that and that is easy for that for if for, for, if you include the peg that's a poly living glycol even t4 pnk can do the uh, uh, blunt end uh, labeling also only thing is that you have to include the peg in the reaction thank you all for listening if at all you like it just subscribe for regular updates